Last summer, I was in a cafe at Myrtle Beach when I saw a Jeep for the sixth time that day. And it got me thinking, why do so many Jeeps have a signature rubber duck row on their dashboards? Are they cult members? After doing some thorough searching, I found that some might be, but also how people with similar personalities are more drawn towards certain vehicles and how owners of specific vehicles have created their own community with their own customs. This is super prevalent with Jeeps, so much so that it's called Jeep culture. There's a reason behind why most Jeep owners share similar values or tastes, and it's not because of the cult-like attributes. This psychological phenomenon is called personality congruence. In this study, these toasters all represent different kinds of personalities. So let's say Sage has an extroverted personality. The toaster that reflects that personality the most to her is going to be the item that she's drawn to. In this case, Toaster 2 would be her best bet. Potential Jeep consumers can also be impacted by the mirror exposure effect, which basically just means that the more you are exposed to something, the more likely you are to buy it. The environment and media also play a role in this effect. For example, Annie who just moved to Hawaii is more interested than ever in owning a Jeep, now that she is in an environment that embraces its qualities. Why do you think it's a Hawaii car? Uh, probably because I associate Jeeps a lot with like being open to the air, and it, it's one of those cars that I feel like is good for warm weather, which I imagine. Like the ones that are like open and like the, the roof can come down. On top of this, Jeep pics on Pinterest are frequently shown in a tropical setting almost like its consumers are evolving people's associations with the brand. And it helps that Annie happens to be an avid Pinterest user. So what are some things that represent Jeep culture? Sure, two Jeeps honking at each other isn't much of a shock, but have you ever noticed their signature Jeep wave or more particularly their rubber duck stash? If you've come across this, it's not directly because the owner is just really into ducks or is trying to release their inner child. But why did it happen to be Jeeps that carry such a trend called ducking and kept it going exclusively? Jeeps don't even look like ducks. The lore seems to go back to Alice in Parliament, who is technically the founder of Duck Duck Jeep. All you have to do to play is place a rubber duck on another Jeep. A note attached to the duck expresses your message and encouragement to upload the scene on social media. While some people enjoy ducking as a cheerful exchange, other people who are into Jeeps themselves are not so into the custom that comes along with it. Just bought my first Wrangler ever, and I've seen ducks on people's Jeeps and didn't know why. I very much dislike getting ducks on my Jeep. I usually just toss them away. Even had a real long-time Jeep owners never put ducks on their dash. It's a stupid momentary fad by those with show Jeeps. Never to get a speck of mud on them. And a kind of self-entitled status symbol just to say, I drive a Jeep. Sincerely, a real long-time Jeep owner. How cute. Somebody ducked one of my Jeeps. Again. And then there's some people commenting things as simple as, Grow up. There is controversy going on because, like, a lot of people think that people are being childish because they have just a bunch of rubber ducks on their dashboard. Whoever's purchasing the Jeep would have to already know of that. Because I could imagine buying a Jeep and then suddenly ducks start appearing and that might be a little concerning. You know, whatever makes people happy, whatever floats your boat or whatever floats your duck, so. I do think it can be childish, however, I think it's just fun and playful and they can do whatever they want to do. So, whether you match the Jeep's qualities in its varying forms of aesthetics, such as granola, military, or coconut girl, it all boils down to the popular idea that owning a Jeep is not just owning a vehicle, it's a reflection of your whole lifestyle. Mm -hmm.